know what this is and I'm excited about it. Oh yeah, don't worry, I'll explain later. So I got all my supplies and yeah, I'm so happy and excited about this. And this is just some origami paper that I ordered. And there is a little backstory to that. So I was just making a list of things that I used to enjoy that I neglected. On my list, I had all kinds of things that this, and it went back to when I was a child. And one of the things on my list was, I used to have the most greatest time just flying a paper plane. And that was the first time that I was introduced to origami without even knowing that. For those of you who are not familiar with uh, origami, it's just the Japanese art of folding paper. So my first introduction was just as a child making a paper plane. I grew up in an impoverished community and it was violent and that was my little refuge. I would be inside making paper planes, making paper ninja stars. And one of the fondest memories was as a child, I would, it would be bath time and I would make a paper boat and you know, just have my action figures in there. I just had a blast. So now that I'm an adult and you know, the responsibilities kick in and you're just consumed with surviving and hustling and making a living, sometimes we tend to neglect the things that we enjoy. And I think it's important to reconnect with those things that brought you joy. Reconnect with things that invite joy into your life as an adult. So yeah, I looked up on YouTube a tutorial on how to make a dove. So that's what I chose. I'm not going with the paper plane, but I chose to make a dove because it symbolizes peace and comfort. And in the Bible, it also symbolizes the Holy Spirit. So that's the first thing that I was like, you know what? I want to attack that. I'm going to try and make a dove. I've never made a paper dove, uh, origami dove, so wish me luck. So I'm gonna get started. Getting real complex now. <laughs> oh no, no, why? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, this is not as easy as I thought. I gotta stick to the paper planes, cause the dove, that's advanced. Slow down, bro. Woo! I think I got it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think he's making the beak. Okay, okay. Oh! <laughs> it's like, midway through, it's like, it's fun and I'm excited, but I'm really trying to make dust, so I'm like, I'm being extra cautious because I don't want to make the wrong fold, so, but, yeah, it, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Okay, I think I got it. I just got some needle and thread and I'm gonna try to hang it up by the window and I'll have my dove. I think I got it, I think I got it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh wee. Okay, it's time to hang up my dove.
was so happy. Got my dub up. So how do I feel after making my paper dove and hanging it up? Well, reconnecting with something I used to enjoy as a child. As an adult, surprisingly, I feel amazing. It's, it was just an amazing experience. I was looking outside and I saw people jet skiing and having fun and I was like, oh, it's the weekend and I'm stuck and I have to actually prepare for work. But just doing this, just doing something making the best out of the situation, my circumstance, just doing something that brought me joy. I'm so happy I did. Because I was skeptical, I'm like, I'm grown. Am I gonna enjoy just, you know, folding paper like, you know, when I was a kid and the paper plane? Yes. Yes, as an adult, I just was excited. Um, I was like nervous, can I even do it? And I noticed that I needed some patience and it was just overall a great experience. So, I think personally and highly recommend that you make a list of five things you enjoy and knock them out, you know, one per week and just enjoy life. Just, just make the best of your situation and invite joy into your life. Stop neglecting and abandoning things that brought you joy as an adult. So yeah, as I get to work, I think it's going to be a great addition to the home and every time I look up, it'll bring me peace. Thank you for joining me as I made my paper origami dove. I appreciate you. I love you neighbors and may peace be with you. <laughs> that was so cool. I'm actually in a good mood to do some work, so that was cool.